Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well. Today's video is a review about one of the most important personal finance and self-help book written by Robert Kiyosak. Rich Dad Poor Dad is a personal finance and self-help book written by Robert Kiyosaki. Published in 1997, it has become one of the most popular and influential financial books of all time. The book presents Kiyosaki's unique perspective on money, investing, and wealth building, using the contrasting examples of his rich dad and poor dad to illustrate key financial principles. Here's a review of the book's main aspects, financial mindset. One of the central themes of the book is the idea that financial success is not solely determined by how much money you make but by how you manage and invest that money. Kiyosaki stresses the importance of adopting a wealth-building mindset and taking control of your financial future. 2. Assets versus Liabilities Kiyosaki introduces the concept of assets and liabilities and explains that the key to financial independence is to acquire income-generating assets, such as real estate and stocks, that can cover your expenses. He emphasizes the need to reduce or eliminate liabilities, things that take money out of your pocket, in order to build wealth. 3. Financial Education Kiyosaki advocates for continuous financial education and criticizes the traditional education system for not teaching people about money, investing, and financial independence. He encourages readers to seek out financial knowledge and take control of their financial education. 4. Entrepreneurship The book promotes the idea of entrepreneurship and investing in businesses as a means to financial success. Kiyosaki believes that becoming a business owner and investor can provide more financial security than relying on a traditional job. 5. Critiques and Controversies While Rich Dad Poor Dad has many passionate followers, it also has its critics. Some argue that Kiyosaki's advice is too simplistic or that he promotes risky financial strategies. The book's anecdotal style has also been criticized for lacking specific, actionable advice. 6. Inspirational Many readers find the book inspirational and credit it with changing their perspective on money and motivating them to take control of their finances. It encourages readers to think differently about their financial decisions and opens their eyes to the possibilities of achieving financial independence. 7. Repetition Some readers may find the book repetitive, as Kiyosaki frequently reiterates key concepts to reinforce his teachings. While this can be helpful for understanding the core principles, it might also feel redundant to some. In conclusion, Rich Dad Poor Dad is a thought-provoking book that challenges conventional financial wisdom. It encourages readers to think differently about money, assets, and financial education. While not everyone agrees with all of Kiyosaki's advice, the book has undeniably had a significant impact on many people's financial mindset and has sparked discussions on the importance of financial literacy and investment. Readers should approach the book as a starting point for financial education and seek additional resources and advice to create a well-rounded financial strategy. That's the end of this short review. I hope you have learned something new today. In the description, you'll find a link to the audiobook, so don't hesitate to listen to it. You won't regret it I'm sure. Rich Dad Poor Dad is a 1997 book written by Robert Kiyosaki, which focuses on teaching readers personal finance and investing so they can acquire financial freedom. The book reinforces the idea that earning a high income does not necessarily result in becoming rich, and that financial intelligence is more important than knowledge of accounting or other professional fields. Rich Dad Poor Dad advises readers to take responsibility for their own financial future, to focus on tangible assets that can generate passive income, and to develop financial independence through investing, business ownership, and real estate. 
It suggests that one can acquire money through proper planning and investment, rather than hard work and long hours.